years ago, on D-Day, as the American soldier again proved his outstanding worthiness as a fighting man. We, whose strength did so much to win the shooting war, cannot afford to grow laggard now. That we owe to every man who fell on D-Day and on so many other fields throughout the world. I for president, I for president, I for president, I for president. You like I, I like I, everybody likes I for president. Hang out the banner, beat the drum, we'll take I to Washington. You like I, I like I, everybody likes I for president. Hang out the banner, beat the drum, we'll take I to Washington. You like I, I like I, everybody likes I for president. Hang out the banner, beat the drum. Now is the time for all good Americans to come to the aid of their country. The Soviet Union now has a greater number than the United States. This trend is disturbing. President Eisenhower reassures the nation that Russia's success with the first satellite does not indicate a serious lag in American rocket research. I consider our country's satellite program to be well designed and properly scheduled to achieve the scientific purposes for which it was initiated. Speed of progress in the satellite project cannot be taken as an index of our progress in ballistic missile work.
The Pentagon says the United States is ready to sink every communist bloc ship headed for Cuba, which refuses to stop and be searched under the blockade. Good evening, my fellow citizens. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on the island of Cuba. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States, requiring a full retaliatory response upon the Soviet Union. These are the stakes to make a world in which all of God's children can live or to go into the dark. We must either love each other or we must die. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. My fellow Americans, as President and Commander-in-Chief, it is my duty to the American people to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. That reply is being given as I speak to you tonight. I have today ordered to Vietnam the Air Mobile Division. The President has asked that we are to respond with the objective of destroying the attackers. Their objective is Chinese domination over all of Asia. Конец могила колониальному рабству. The enemy has met his master in the field. I shall not seek, and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. 